This video is about introduction to six trigonometric ratios. Any right angle triangle can be associated with six trigonometric ratios, and these six trigonometric ratios are sine, cos, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent and we will go through them one by one and in order to memorize the information about them properly I will go through one sentence so the things become easier for you the sentence is old Harry and his old aunt so if we go through the first letter of each word here let's write each letter here separately o h a h o a now i can separate each of them into pairs let's consider this pair and this pair and this pair and write o divided by h a divided by h and o divided by a now o stands for opposite side and H stands for hypotenuse A is adjacent side and H is hypotenuse again and A is adjacent side and O is opposite side and this is equal to sine this is equal to sine and this is cos and this is tangent now if if you can memorize this sentence you can easily write the values of sine cos and tangent or you can easily memorize the what would be the values of sine cos and tangent in any given right angle triangle now if i ask you what is the value of sine it doesn't mean anything because all of these six trigonometric ratios are associated with angles and if i ask you what is the value of sine 30 degree then it means something so let's go through them one by one so what would be the value of sine a sine of angle a because these all trigonometric ratios are associated with angles i can find the value of sine a i, I can find the value of sine b i can find the value of sine c any any given angle in a right angle triangle let's suppose that i want to find value of sine a so we know that sine is opposite side divided by hypotenuse this opposite side means opposite side to given angle for example if I want to find value of sine a it means opposite side to angle a and hypotenuse of a right angle triangle so what is the opposite side to angle a it is BC and hypotenuse is AB similarly what would be the value of cos a cos is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so what is the adjacent side to angle a adjacent side to angle a is ac and hypotenuse is ab and what would be the value of tangent of a tangent a is tangent of any given angle is uh, opposite side divided by adjacent side so opposite side to angle a is bc and adjacent side is ac so it would be bc divided by ac the rest of the three trigonometric ratios can be found very easily because secant because cosecant of a is reciprocal of sine of a and cosecant a is reciprocal of sine a and secant a is reciprocal of cos a and cotangent of a is reciprocal of tangent of a so I can write cosecant A is equal to hypotenuse divided by opposite side and I can write secant A equal to AB divided by AC or I can write hypotenuse divided by adjacent side and cotangent A would be equal to adjacent side divided by opposite side. So if you can memorize just sine cos and tangent there would be no problem regarding cosecant secant and cotangent at all. Now in order to clarify more on these trigonometric ratios we can go through the value of let's go through sine a example 
sin a is equal to pc divided by and let's draw a rough triangle here let's suppose that it is a right angle triangle it's right angle here a let's suppose that it is a and this is b and this is c this, this doesn't look like a straight line but assume that it is a straight line and now assume that a is an acute angle we know that angle a and b are acute angles in this right angle triangle angle a lies between 0 degree to 90 degree now for every ratio of bc to ab the value of a would be constant so what is basically sine of a so sine of a is the ratio of side bc to ab at angle a we can see that if we increase or decrease angle a the the ratio of bc to ab will also change so for any particular value of bc to ab the value of the value of angle a would be constant considering that a is an acute angle so all of these angles have been already found all of these values have already been found for example if we know that what is the value of bc to ab for example it's given to us that uh, bc is let's suppose it's 4 and ab is 8 and so the ratio of bc to ab is 4 divided by 8 is equal to 1 by 2 so it's equal to 0 0.5 now for this value of bc to ab the value of a would be constant and it's equal to 30 degrees this is this is this has already been found and we can use calculator to find this or and in the next video i'll be telling how to memorize these values so, so same is the case for these identities for these trigonometric ratios for cos a cot a secant a cosecant a for example for the cos a the ratio of ac to ab for example for one particular value of ac to ab the value of a would be constant we cannot have different value of angle of a considering a is an acute angle for the same value of ac over b over ac divided by ab for one value of ac to ab we will have one value of angle a considering angle a is acute so that's it about six trigonometric ratios uh, i think you learned something i hope so and in the next video i'll be teaching how you can memorize the values of zero degrees how you can memorize all the six trigonometric ratios regarding angles zero degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees because these are used more often see you guys in the next video thank you